What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Today we are playing in game 3 of this 3 match T20 series against India. Currently the series is locked at 1 all. So this is a winner takes all in the last game. Today I'm going to talk about two IPL games. Uh, the first of which I believe was the Kolkata Knight Riders taking on the Mumbai Indians. A few New Zealanders on show uh, in this game which is, you know, it, it is nice to see. Um, and there is something else now that I have thought about that, thought about New Zealanders that I am going to bring up later on in the episode. But uh, that first game, KKR I think said about 180, but uh, in the end that wasn't enough. Uh, Mumbai getting there quite comfortably in the end. Mitch McLennigan was kind of, I guess, a little bit of the star of this game. Uh, played pretty well with the ball. I think he took two, two for something. Can't quite remember. But actually batted at number four as almost a pinch hitter and hit 20 off eight. And I believe that included three sixes from memory. Um, so he really went and I guess proved his skills as an all-rounder. I guess, uh, you know, he has done it time, well, a little bit. I mean, I remember a game... I can't remember who it was against in the World T20, but he came in not as an all-rounder, not at number four. I think it was when he came in at number 10, possibly, maybe number nine, uh, and hit a six off the last ball of the innings to, I guess, just really go and push that total forward. And I guess, as a batting side, when you're getting towards the end of your innings, if you go and you hit a boundary, you know, off the last ball of that innings, hit a six off the last ball of that innings, it's got to feel good for both yourself and for the team. You know, you've gone you've got the ascendancy going into that second inning. So, uh, you know, it must it must be a nice feeling. So, uh, but, you know, that's it. And the other game I'm going to talk about... To, ah, so sorry. Um, yeah, Mumbai won that game, I think, by about... I can't quite remember, actually. They won, I think, with about an over left to go. I'm not sure how many wickets left in hand. Um, but definitely going and getting the job done. And the second game, which was last night, I uh, was between the two new boys. So that's between the Lions and the Super Giants. Uh, the Lions getting up in that one. Both uh, McCullum and Finch batted very well. Um, I think they had close to 100 partnership. I think Finch had 50. Uh, McCullum had 49, I think, individual scores. I'm not sure who got out when or anything like that, but uh, a very solid platform. And then Reiner came in. I think he's captaining the side. I'm not 100% sure of that, but I think he is the captain. Uh, 24 off 24, I believe. And uh, Bravo and someone else finishing it off uh, for the Lions. And uh, now that we go on, I guess, to this other topic of discussion for today, shall we say. And it's something that probably is close to a lot of people uh, around the world, especially us here in New Zealand, and that is Martin Guptill. Now, Martin Guptill has finally been called up to the IPL uh, after, I can't remember, there was a few seasons ago, I'm not sure when it was, I think it may have been last season, that he skipped the auction altogether so he could focus on red ball cricket. Uh, went and played county cricket over in England, I can't remember who that was for, um, and actually had a fairly good season over there. Um, but now, obviously, with how good of a T20 player he is, we have all seen that at the World T20, we've seen it in one day internationals, he has just been absolutely destroying bowling attacks uh, within, I guess, probably the last 12 to 18 months, and he finally has been rewarded with a call-up. He is now in the Mumbai Indian side. He is coming for an injury replacement uh, for Lendl Simmons, I believe, the West Indian, uh, who basically, I wouldn't say single-handedly, but he was a guy who really helped the West Indies get into the semi, uh, sorry, get into the final of the World T20. Um, and so obviously for Gupta coming to him is quite a big thing, because Simmons has been playing in the IPL, uh, you know, for a wee while. He is used to the conditions. I think he scored a ton for the Mumbai Indians as well. So, uh, But very good and very happy to see uh, Marty Guptill in there. So hopefully he can get some game time. Direct hit and that's gone. It is gone. Virat Kohli on your bike son. You've been in amazing form. I guess both in here. 26 off 18. But in real life he has been banging in the runs as well. And it has just gotten really dark. I think the sun must have gone behind a cloud. But I have just noticed that now. That the, the lighting has gone down uh, substantially. But that's alright. We won't be too fussed about that. But Marty Gupta, I'm really looking forward to seeing him go, especially with how well he did in uh, in Indian conditions in the World T20 as well. He had a couple of very good knocks, uh, so it will be very nice to see him play there because he is one of those guys who is a very, very good T20 player, and I was very surprised with how he had been batting, you know, against all forms of bowling, uh, you know, over the last 12 to 18 months that he didn't get picked up at the initial auction. I thought it was just absolutely crazy uh, that they didn't go for him. Especially, I can't imagine his price would be, you know, super duper high. Um, it would be up there, but obviously not one of the top tier players, I guess you would say. But you could still go and pick him up for a bargain. And for what you pay, you could be getting 
a really, really good deal. So hopefully he can go and get the job done for Mumbai Indians. He's really excited. I think a lot uh, of the New Zealand cricket community are excited as well that Guptu is finally getting his chance on this biggest uh, biggest of stages, I guess you would say. That is what the IPL is, is. It is probably the biggest stage when it comes to T20 cricket in the world. So it will be very nice to see how he gets on. But that's basically all. I think we are now coming into our last over here. We may potentially get a bat today. We're not too sure, but we've done pretty well um, to keep the Indians to what they are at at the moment. 104 for 5 off 12 overs. So I say this time and time again in videos. I feel like I repeat myself time and time again. Um, but to be at this stage, to be 100 runs after 12 overs, that is where I like to set the bar, where I like to set the standard when it comes to, I guess, probably... Not so much in chasing runs, but in scoring runs. I think if you're there, you've got a good platform to really launch in those last eight overs and, you know, get a decent score on the board. The one thing the Indians don't have in their favour today is the wickets in hand. They are five down, uh, so that could possibly come back uh, to haunt them a little bit. Surely that must be close to an OBW. Probably missing leg, just, but we won't, won't waste the, uh, the review even though we are the only ones in the team that do take it. But one for 15 so far. As I said, I believe... From memory, this is my fourth over. I could be wrong. I could have one more to come, but I think I think this is the last one. So hopefully we can get a bat just to go and really extend things out a little bit. Because um, that is what I really like about T20 cricket in this game. I really enjoy you know, playing domestic T20 cricket as well as international cricket. Because normally you bowl your four overs, you normally get to bat a little bit as well. So you do get the best of both worlds. Um, so hopefully we can go and get that. That was our four overs done and dusted. Um, but it is looking at this stage. We may get a little cameo towards the end. I think we have. I think we've got about two overs. Not sure how many runs we do need. Um, but the T20 record only playing in our second game. So I did uh, miss... I think it was the second game, or it might have been the first game, um, but just 18 runs to the name, and um, a pretty easy task that we need to do here, just two needed off 13 deliveries, so we'll look to go and whip this one away, onto the leg side, oh my god, don't run yourself out, Cloppy, that would have been stupid, trying to go, not for the big boom to finish things off, but getting the single, uh, the scores are now tied, and this is, uh, to be honest, this is a little bit anticlimactic for me. I thought we were going to have to come in and uh, and maybe score some boundaries. But instead, we've just nudged two singles off two balls, playing for the average. Uh, two off two, one for 16 with the ball. And that concludes a pretty good game for us. A pretty solid game, you would say. Uh, not going above and beyond. But New Zealand win this T20 series against India, so we're very happy with that. Peter Fulton man of match, 54 off 33. Not really a guy you associate too much with T20 cricket or one day cricket, more of a test cricketer and a first class cricketer for Canterbury. But we're going to wrap it up there. Pretty comfortable win in the end by six wickets. Uh, nine, sorry, 11 balls left to spare. My mass just went out the window there completely. But a win is a win, a series win is a win, and a trophy is a win. So we'll definitely take all of those on board. Anyway, guys, do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter links that can be found down below in the description. Hope you guys have had an awesome week so far. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. I've got Cricket Coach New Zealand Reborn. I think we're in the World T20 final there. So make sure you tune in for that.